What was my brother up to? Ah, okay. He's one of the truther types. And let me guess, what is he doing? Searching for the rotten corpse of Barack Obama's birth certificate or something? Hello and welcome to another indie horror game demo. That are playing the demo of The Greys, Human Abduction. Which I think is going to set the entire stage of what we know. But in this, we are, have inherited our brother's house. He went missing and... Well, it's now ours. And I have a feeling that our brother, living in the middle of nowhere... Hi honey, I'm sorry we didn't wait for you, but we have to leave suddenly to see my mother for the weekend. She got sick. This new house is really great. I have already unpacked most of the things, but please take care of the rest. If you find time, come to us. Oh, by the way, the package arrived. I left it in the kitchen. Love you, bye. Uh, but yeah, so I imagine since my brother probably lives in the middle of nowhere, Jesus Christ. Hold on, right mouse button to move doors, T... Okay, so T will let me see in the dark, that's my flashlight. And tab, I can have my inventory. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Alright, there we are. I was, I was getting a little worried because it ran pretty crappily to start. Use the gate from wife, one, two, three, four, to open the gate. Alright. Interesting. So, pretty sure... God, that is a actually nice little skybox. And I like that, like, kind of bloom effect that the moon has there. Yeah, pretty sure that uh, we all know what's happening here. My brother probably got kidnapped by bastard aliens. What the heck? Why? Oh, getting... Okay, I was getting very confused there. Um, <laughs> That's me being confused as hell like three times in the first minute of the game. No surprise. Yeah, I imagine he probably got yoinked up by the aliens and is probably getting probed or something. And Yeah, that's pretty much all that I can think of. There's been a number of games like this actually coming out recently, and I'm... I know I've said it before, and I'm gonna be repeating myself, but I'm I'm really liking this resurgence of... these types of monsters. Let's see. Okay, I can't just open you up. Can I...? There's nothing worth getting. Oh, there we go. That was a little weird. Yeah, I'll just have to get used to the control scheme here. So let's see. T will do that. Okay, Q is zoom. And here is... Uh, yeah, here's the home. Not a bad little place. Let me see. Why... Am I playing as like a little manlet or something? Why am I so short? Yeah, I'm... This character is just like... Tiny, I swear. Yeah, normally... Aren't... Yeah, light switches? I'm like looking at my walls right now. They're... Like, I'm six foot three, right? So they're, you know, maybe like middle of my body-ish. Like, maybe you waist height, maybe slightly above. Or sorry, slightly below, like, waist, maybe kind of like hip height. Yeah, that just feels a little odd, but you know what? Maybe we're just playing as a tiny, dainty little European or something. Okay, explore the attic. I feel like we should probably not explore the attic. I want to go to every single room in this house and turn on the lights first. See if there's anything in here. Oh, where, what is this room? Why does it not have a light switch? Oh, here we go. Okay. I was like, what? Oh, okay. It's like a little den living room type of deal. I've never really understood the point of having, like, den living room type of areas that are... Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Uh, that are, like, closed off. I don't know, maybe it's just because when I grew up, the house I was in... The whole lower level, like, really didn't have walls. Or if it did, it had, like, partial walls and stuff. It just... Yeah, mm, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just one of those filthy millennials who likes everything. What in the fuck? Why does it look like it's made of, like, burlapy meat? That's horrifying. Yeah, maybe I just really like open houses. Alright, you know what? Let's, uh... Just, I'm just making sure there's nothing out here. Nothing hidden, maybe a hidden shotgun or something. Turns out my brother's like a crazy prepper and he decided to leave trip mines outside. You know, stuff like that. There we go. And what's in you? Oh, okay. Yep, you're just that room. Cool. Well, upstairs we go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen in here. I'm just waiting for the inevitable jump scare. So I'm going to make a rule right now. 
If it turns out that at any point this game uses the same thing that every single horror engine game uses, although I think it's like since fallen out of fashion, but where there's like a spook, there's the footstep running away, my screen goes all wobbly and weird, and there's like a static VHS effect. If that happens at any point in this demo, I'm quitting the game and I'm taking back every good thing I said about it. What the heck? So what is that? Oh, that was turning on and off this. All right. I, I was like, I saw a reflection on the outside of the door. There we go. A nice soja, healthy soap. There, yeah, there is. This could be a great spot for hiding. Wait, what? The bathroom? Wait, hold on. Why, why are you thinking about hiding spots? What's wrong with you? Yeah, why, why do I suddenly want an, or why do I suddenly have an urge to hide? I mean, I guess, yeah, maybe we are playing as a kid and he's like thinking of playing hide and seek. Okay, you're good. Programming for architecture, something about a paradox. Thorn bird. Yeah, I mean, again, it's very indie, which isn't really a bad thing. It's just kind of how the game is. Yeah, I'm, uh, this is interesting. A little bit of a rough start. You know, AI voices and some weird frame rate drops kind of occurring in places, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. Oop. Okay, what could be a great spot for hiding? What, here? Do I? I don't even have a crouch. All right, what's? Oh. Huh. I, I was wondering why that looks so weird. Yeah, that's a really aggressive occlusion cull. What? Like here, maybe? Yeah, I. I don't know what. Like, why is the game talking about hiding spots? Oh, hello. What? What am I trying to get at? Yeah, the game's telling me I can, like, move stuff around here. Uh, can I move anything else? I just want to make sure. No. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go to start moving shit around. Alright, E and Q. Are we, like, looking for the mouse, maybe? Yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. The hell did I see somebody? Uh, maybe that was just the weird box. Yeah, that box that just like launched through the wall. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, what the fudge? What is this? Wait, what, what did I just stumble across? Hold on. What am I? Explore the... I, I guess I just, like, completely didn't notice that. What the fuck? What was my brother up to? Ah, okay. He's one of the truther types. And let me guess, what is he doing? Searching for the rotten corpse of Barack Obama's birth certificate or something? Of course, the light's broken. Alright. So what is in here? I'm hoping that's a cabinet with guns. Okay, what do you say? We believe there are three types of greys. Observers, scouts, and assailants, also known as infiltrators. Observers gather information about the planet, specifically whether they support life and if life is intelligent or shows signs of advanced development. Scouts are sent to collect more de detailed data, and they're often responsible for abductions. And the most dangerous of all are the assailants or infiltrators. They can quickly adapt to any environment and, using advanced shape-shifting technology, alter their appearance to look indistinguishably human. They can mimic our skin and voice and even mannerisms. Once among us, they blend seamlessly into society, learning our languages and behaviors within days. Some believe they can implant false memories or manipulate our thoughts, making our presence, making their presence almost impossible to detect until it's too late. Well, that would be rather impressive. Well, that would just be eerie. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to look at all of these. Yeah, I imagine a lot of this is like AI art or... 
Yeah, it's still interesting that, like, you can still sort of tell whenever art is AI. What does that say? Make sure TV and VHS player is on before turning on the tape. Yeah, so again, this is another one of these cases where, like, I, I know... I, I've seen this pop up so many times. I've seen this exact mechanic pop up, and I'm wondering if it's just something innate to Horror Engine. It has to be. What's this say? We studied the specimen and found it as XX chromosomes. Was it female? In 99% of cases, we only have encountered only male greys. One of our experts flew in from Tokyo to examine it. We've long believed that greys are clones modified through DNA engineering, or if they're, or, but what if there's something else entirely? They could even be part of human civilization, ancestors who left Earth long before the Great Floods, before we began writing and preserving history. There's much we don't understand that could have departed millennia ago. I've always actually been a big fan of that particular theory. They are around us. Yeah, there's more stuff here. Yeah, I've always been a fan of that theory, though, that, like, ancient humanity maybe was much more advanced in some capacity. Maybe that this isn't even, like, the place we all came from. Hello? Well, don't mind if I do. I'll definitely be taking that. Yeah, that's in my one slot. Now, what does this say? We need to urgently discuss a developing situation at the base. One of the subjects involved nearly escaped containment. New critical evidence has surfaced that requires immediate attention. Recently, uncovered additional recordings linked to a series of incidents in the forest area... A forested area near the house located somewhere. These recordings must be handled with extreme discretion. Over the past 40 years, multiple abductions have been reported in the region. The isolated house nearby has been the site of various unexplained phenomena, including UFO sightings. The last confirmed abduction, for which we have footage, occurred on June 2nd, 1987. We have strong reason to believe that similar incidents occurred before and after this date. A previously unknown camera tape was found, and fortunately handed over to authorities before they could view its contents. We recommend an immediate review of all newly discovered materials. This situation demands full attention. Further action will be determined after the examines is thoroughly after the evidence is thoroughly examined by the assigned team. Alright, yeah, I've got I can't fucking speak today, apparently. <clears throat> Not that I ever could, to be fair. So there's no tape. Was there some talk of, like, a package or something? I know that they... What was it? Was it, like, my wife or something? She said that she had found a package or something for me. Is that... They said they brought it inside. Was it, like, dropped off in the garage? Was it... Why do I just have, like, a sheet of metal here on the floor? What the hell? Yeah, this is, like, random bullshit on it. Yeah, is that something related to... Oh, hold on, hold on, here we are. Oh, for God's sake, okay. What does this say? That is... Uh, footage 241. Alright, and there's a note here. Does this tell me a little bit about this? My dear brother, I don't know when this package will reach you, but if you're reading this, it means you opened the one that I sent. It also means something has happened to me. There's a hidden room in the attic. When you find it, you'll understand everything. Okay, so that's where the footage was. All right, I mean, you know what, fair enough, I guess that's that's on me, just like missing the, you know, now looking at it, fairly obvious little, that little mechanism there behind the pillar. All right, so can I close you? I just, I don't trust having that open while I sit here and watch stuff. All right. Let's give this a watch. Play. And now let's see. So there's my brother walking through the woods. I'm going to look over and there's going to be a gray standing there and I'm going to absolutely piss myself in terror. No, this reminds me a little bit of They Are Here. Which I'm really curious if it's going to end up being actually, like, decent or not. Which if I remember right, I think that was the same developer as the game who made The Root Man. Which I also kind of enjoyed, even if it was a little simple. So this guy's just out exploring. You know, I, I genuinely have strongly considered just like buying a house in the middle of nowhere. But I feel like even I'm not stupid enough to go ahead and go exploring in the middle of the woods alone. Oh, is that... 
Mysterious lights in the sky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not very good. Okay. Check outside, investigate strange footsteps coming from above. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. Strange footsteps. <clears throat> Find a way inside the house? What? Inside what house? I'm I'm in the house. Was there another house that I saw? Hold on. So yeah, the, there was that thing about hiding. See, the fact that they gave me a little note where the guy was like, Oh, this should be a great hiding spot. That has me nervous. That has me very, very nervous. So yeah, where am I supposed to go then? Do I... Do I go outside? I feel like I should maybe call my wife. I feel like that's probably the right call here. No, call... Play the second VHS... What? What second VHS tape? What? What is going on? I feel like events are just happening here. Oh. Hey, okay. don't know what that was. What? Are, okay. What? What scare did I just miss? Yeah, I swear. I swear, events are just fucking happening right now. And like, I'm I'm not mad about it or something. I'm just like, I feel I feel like stuff is just going on, and I'm not able to like get my head around it. Okay, so we go inside. Yeah, it seems like running... It seems like having lights and stuff active. This game just, like, really doesn't like that. No, no, no. Don't do that. Come on. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try. Let's see. Alright, I hope that ends up running a little better, because that's honestly a little... A little annoying to deal with, like, the weird frame droppy stuff. So again, what? Okay, what is my actual objective here? Now it's just question mark. Okay, it said play the second VHS on the monitor. But I don't have a second fucking VHS tape. So it's... Oh, hold on. What the heck is that? I see a key down there. Why is there a key down there? Why can I seemingly not crouch? Yeah, is there a VHS tape here on the floor? Not that I can see. It's just like random garbage down here. Okay, again, I swear I'm supposed to be seeing something. Like, am I supposed to be seeing figures in the corn? Is that what I'm supposed to be seeing here? And I'm just like not looking, not paying attention to it? I mean, honestly, that's probably what it is, right? If they're greys and infiltrators and yada yada. But where the fuck is the second VHS tape? What am I missing? Can I now interact with one of the ones that's upstairs, maybe? I... I've been around all over the damn place, I can't fucking tell. I'm, I'm just, I'm very baffled right now. Alright, so if I... Let me close off you. Let's see, can I like sit down and grab it, maybe? No, no I can't. What about... Hmm. Did I just like brick the game? Okay, you know what, I'm gonna go like replay up to this. I think there's something broken. I, I broke some trigger somewhere. Let me... Let me go just replay this. Well, got back up to this point. I think I've broken fewer triggers this time because that objective didn't pop up until after I had... Until after I'd gone ahead and, like, done everything, so I'm kind of curious if it's going to work a little better now. Also, I think I found a note that I completely missed. As the closest living relative to your brother, you has been missing and is presumed dead, you are hereby designated the sole beneficiary of his estate. This includes all personal belongings, house, and any other properties or assets he owned at the time of disappearance. As a sole heir, you are entitled to full ownership and control over the possessions. Act signed below, yada yada yada. So yeah, that's just the lawyers doing the lawyer thing, so 
I guess, yeah, let's, let's step outside. Let's go see what's outside. Maybe I'll be able to see some of these scares. Alright, find a way inside the house? What? Did this... Oh, I see, okay. So the door is supposed to lock behind... Yeah, I think I broke something by doing what I'd been doing. Yeah, there we go. So that's what we were supposed to have seen. And I bet there's like one on each end, so no matter what, you always see one. So yeah, let's, let's go upstairs. Let's go find out. So can I... Alright, I'm inside the house. And now I need to go play the second VHS tape on the monitor. I don't trust this anymore. I feel like something really bad is about to happen. Right, my guy's kind of freaking out here. Okay, I saw that shadow and I just got very, very fucking tense. I can't believe this door doesn't lock. Oh, good god. Hi. Please don't molest me, Mr. Alien. Why do you look like you're about the same quality as the aliens from fucking Tomb Raider 3? Hmm. Please do not probe. Hello, kids. If you lay a finger on me, I'm gonna tear you in half. What the hell? What is that? I don't like that. Oh, I really don't like that. By the way, guys, if you want to see something abjectly horrifying, uh, watch Fire in the Sky. Fucking terrifying. Oh, God. Ah, not in the brain, you assholes. Yeah, uh, that abjectly horrifying uh, scene in that movie. Kind of near the end, I think. But there we go. Alright, so that wraps up the demo of the Grey's Human Abductions. Um, it's not bad. It's very buggy. It has some serious problems. Yeah, it... It was, don't get me wrong, it was a fun experience. Like, there's some good spooks and atmosphere to it. It needs a lot of optimization. How did this be the correct time? Interesting. Um, yeah, and there's like the hiding mechanics and stuff coming, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so I mean, I think this could be really interesting. It just, like I said, it needs optimization, some clarity, uh, just some cleanup of kind of what's going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a very, again, it's very indie horror. It's exactly what I would expect from a developer making an indie horror game. But yeah, um, overall though, not bad. Not bad, not awful, I've definitely played far worse, and I'm curious to see where this goes in the future. So developer, keep up the good work, focus on optimization, and maybe some like, I don't know, player quality of life stuff. And I'll definitely try to check it out when it comes out. So thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching the demos of the Greys Human Abductions. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know how you felt about this one, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon.